Hey, good morning. This would be Tuesday morning, and how you doing on Rise and Shine? Well, yesterday was an eventful day. We got new lights being put in the church, and, and uh, that's an exciting thing. It really is. Anybody want to be a part of that, you're welcome to jump in there. But uh, that's we're going to get things lit up. I'm excited. Something else that happened yesterday was had an old tree right out at the corner of our house. Electric lines on one side of it and power lines on the other side, communication lines and for instance, etc. And that thing has sat there for years and years, just getting deader and deader. More dead and more dead. Branches that fall out of the top just barely miss the house, pile up on the ground. Pastor Ron, who runs our live nativity at Mountaintop Ministries every year, he'd look at me and say, that, that tree's dead. <laughs> that tree's dead. <laughs> Uh, after a few years, I kind of got the hint. He was saying something to the fact we need to take that down because somebody's going to get hurt. And it might be your house. <laughs> it was great advice. Today it happened. Procrastination. i just been procrastinated because I didn't have somebody lined up to do it safely. I didn't want it to end up on my house. Didn't want it to end up hurting somebody. Uh, if I tried to throw it, uh, I didn't think it with the way it was leaning. I didn't think I could get it right. Charlotte knew I couldn't get it right. <laughs> well, met a gentleman. He said, "No problem. No problem." He came here and within, I think it was an hour, they were in and out and that tree was down. Couldn't help but wonder how many things we tolerate in our lives over an accumulation of days and weeks and months and even years. They can become dangerous to us and our spiritual growth. They become a danger to other people around us. They could have uh, damaging effects on on the atmosphere and everything around us. We just tolerate it. Not sure what to do with it. Don't want to cause any waves. We just tolerate it. Just leave it there. It'll be hard. Just leave it there. Leaving it there does not take care of it. When we finally got to cutting it, it had a hole in it, hollow right up through the middle. Like it definitely was a dead tree. So anyway... Today it got taken care of. You'll see the pictures of it, Charlotte will have it on here. But I'm more concerned about the things in my heart, my mind, your heart, your mind, things we tolerate and put up with year after year. And we know we should get them taken care of. We know should they should be tore down. We know that we need to discipline ourselves to do it. Today'd be a good day. Today'd be a good day. You and I make up our minds, the Lord will provide a way. Okay? So I pray for you, whatever it is, whatever the tree is, whatever the stump is, in your front yard, today'd be a good day to take care of it. Hey, you have a great one. Remember, we love you. And want to hear back from you. Oh, I love hearing back from you. Uh, I just love hearing back from you. Okay? So uh, take care. God bless. Have a great one. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.
Well, that looks like fun, doesn't it, Char? Ha, ha, ha.